Um, I'm doing this because there's something that's bothering me. As most of you know by now, me and Java, we're good buddies, man. We are the best of friends. And you know how they say friends don't let friends drive drunk? Well, friends don't let friends get slandered on the internet. And uh, job is being slandered, and it's bothering me. You know, Zillow here is making Jabba look like a liar. Not me. Zillow is doing it. You know, Jabba said his house is sold. He has an investor. And, and I had already called a while back. Because at that time, he said he had Remax. He even waved a real estate booklet with Remax on the cover. You know, the ones you see in stores and stands, you know, anybody can pick up. And he specifically said Remax. And I called. A few other people did. And Remax knew nothing about it. Then the story changed. Oh, no, it's not Remax. He has another real estate lady, but didn't say what agency this time. You know, the nice lady that paid for his part and, you know, offered to buy him lunch because he couldn't make it to the senior center because he was waiting for his pod to arrive. She was going to go buy him some food and bring it to him. Uh, anyway, you know, he's telling people it's sold. He's, you know, everything's all set. But this is still up. And it's still up in pre-foreclosure. And they even made a change, a price drop. The last time I looked at it, looked at it I don't know, over a month ago, it was three hundred and five thousand. Now it is a price drop, and it's been on here for two hundred and sixty-seven days. That goes back to early January when it first went into pre-foreclosure. You know. And they don't just do that with missing one or two payments. There's a, a history of missed and delinquent payments that precedes it for many months before they get to that point. You know, and uh, on Zillow also, banks will put up their properties they have in pre-foreclosure and foreclosures. They hope to eliminate the middleman, real estate agent, that'll take a commission, you know, and uh, they try it on their own until they get to the point where they can't do anymore. And then it gets foreclosed, the person has to leave, and then now they turn it over to a real estate agent and try to recoup as much as they can with what's owed on the mortgage, you know what I mean? But this is not right. I mean, I don't like seeing anyone, anyone, make my buddy Jabba look like a liar, saying that the house is not sold, when he's telling people it's sold. That's not right. Jabba, this is a perfect opportunity for you to get a lawyer. You know, now you can get a lawyer. You have legal grounds. You have a leg to stand on, as they say. You can sue Zillow for false advertisement. That's what this is. This is false advertisement. They have no right to call you a liar. When you say your house is sold, but it's not. And they keep adding the consecutive days that, you know, this is not right. I'm telling you. I'm only doing this because I'm your buddy. You know, I don't want to see people make you look like a fool. I don't want to see anyone make you look like a liar. I stand by my friends. I defend my friends. I support my friends. So I'm doing this to give you a heads up. Maybe you're a real estate lady that paid for your pod and offered to buy you lunch. Maybe she has some knowledge of the law and she could take on a defamation lawsuit a fraud lawsuit against Zillow for putting up this false advertisement 
that's making you look like a liar.